What's up, champions? Listen to me. I want y'all to repeat this on the onset before we go any further, baby. Listen up. <laughs> By the grace of God, I'm striving every day to live more like the person he called me to be through the power of purpose, baby. Understand what I'm saying? And rewind that, repeat that, and tell yourself that every day you're striving. Every day, listen, what, every day you wake up, you got something you going for. Understand what I'm saying? You got something you going for. You waking up, you starting your day, and you you going, you straining, you striving for something, man. And everybody's striving for different things, and that's okay. So whatever it is you striving for, I want you to go after it. And don't stop until you obtain it. And it, time ain't what's important, y'all, because we can't control time. We don't know when it's going to stop. We don't know when it's going to pause. But it's no fast forward and there's no rewind on time in real life. We just got to live in the moment. You understand what I'm saying? And everybody know this. I'm not telling you nothing new. But what I do want to tell you is to strive toward what you're striving for every single day. And understand what this. And even when you take the losses. Because this ain't like back in the days when the sports, when it was a best of five series, family. It's a best of seven now. And understand what I'm saying? They may be up on you. The, the, the score of life may be up on you three to one. You may be down three to one. You understand what I'm saying? But they losing their traction. They losing their grip. Your options, your enemies, and all them obstacles, they losing their grip. You getting your grip on life now. You catching up now. Now you, you, you in this game, and it's just one at a time, baby. And you about to, you about to slowly even that score. Because it ain't the first one to three no more. It's the first one to four. And it's best of seven, baby. And you ain't hey, listen. You down. You may be down one to three. They may be up three to one. But you got to win, baby, and you about to go collect some more wins. And understand, you got to let people know that they can't stop your show. You got to let people know your show going to go on regardless. Your show going to go Share on the movement. The plots, the schemes, and all that, the, the, all the evil matter, all the down talking they do, all the thing they trying to turn against you, because everything that they be taking from you, the got to turn around it for your good and give you back even more. And when you get that more, it's all about getting it within your spirit first. You got to get right within first, people. Understand what I'm saying? You got to get right within first. You already know this. You know this. I know this. We all know this. You got to get right within. You ain't going to win if you're not right within. You can't win when you're still doing evils and manners and talking down on people. And you're trying to do, you're trying to one-up people all the time. You can't be always one-upping. You know what I'm saying? You can't always do that. It's a time and it's a space for that. Don't get me wrong. We ain't, we ain't nobody complete yet, but at the end of every day and at the be, at the end of every night and at the beginning of every day, man, you got to do what's right. You got to do what's right for you and you got to do what's right for your family. You got to do what's right for the people that you call to serve. You understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to go get the op and your own family at the same time. And your, listen, man, and they get, ooh, listen to me, baby. And it get tricky when it when certain things get involved. Button. And it get tricky when it when the certain things start to steal and and, and and take your peace. But it's like all these messages and stuff I've been watching. When you know when that stuff started to happen, you know you on the right track. When the, when that stuff started to happen is when you cannot quit. Is when you cannot give up. It's when that opposition wants you to give up. And when you do give up, man, listen, it be happy. And why you want to make that? Why you want to make the pit happy? You don't want to. You don't want to make the pit happy. Understand what I'm saying? You want to make the people you call to serve happy. You want to make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, no matter what happened, y'all, because certain things in life, things in life just happen that's out of our control. But one thing that's fully within your control is your the power of your happiness, the power of your joy, the power of your inner satisfaction. You have the control of that. Listen, I know it's people around us. Listen, and when you and when you and when you and when you like a real life manager, not managing nobody job, when you real life managing your family and you managing your circumstances and, and you managing your situation, it's hard not to let certain things and certain people take away from your peace, take away from your joy, take away from your inner satisfaction, especially when it's the same things that you want to but put a smile on their face, but they ain't doing nothing but frowning. It's, it get difficult. It get difficult when you when you feel like you giving your all and people ain't appreciating your all. You understand what I'm saying? But you gotta appreciate your own all sometimes. You gotta pat your own self on the back sometimes. You gotta tell yourself a job well done sometimes for yourself and clap for yourself and celebrate yourself. However you celebrate yourself. You tell your own celebration, your own celebration, however you celebrate. Don't let nobody tell you how you're supposed to be celebrating. You understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying, y'all. Understand what you're listening to.
Understand what you're listening to. And listen, this message may not be for everybody, and I get it. But the ones that it's for, look, smash that like button for me. Smash the like button for me. Understand, get this thing circulating. And But listen, when you live in this thing called life, it's... Well, how can I say it? When you live in this thing called life, it's just like you processing what you see in a moment. Everything that you processing with your eyes, you're not going to remember. Everything people tell you, you're not going to remember. Everything that happened to you, like you're not going to remember every single thing. That's not how the brain wired. That's not how the brain was made to work. But what I will tell you this and what I will encourage from you is the things that you hold on to, whether they're good or not so good, you know, I want you to latch on to them things. And I want you to determine, I want you to make a, 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 a conscious decision what you want to do to those thoughts. Understand what I'm saying? You may be having suicidal thoughts. You may be having some things that you want to do to people that did wronged you that ain't really so good. That, that, that may not end so good. You may be having them kind of thoughts in your head. You may want to end it all. You may want to end it all for somebody else. You, want to see, you may want to see somebody's demise happen in front of your eyes. But understand this, man, you don't have to go and get revenge. Sometimes in them areas where you want revenge, that is already taken care of. You just got to sit back and keep living your life pure. Keep living your life to the way you want to live it, right? So the same thing, you may be having thoughts of prosperity. You may be having thoughts of abundance. Ride that wave and go get it. Don't let nobody talk. Look, if you got some if you got some things you want to do in your life, don't let your environment dumb you down. Because it's going to be people... When you tell them your ambition, when you tell them your desires, when you tell them your goals, when they see you out here achieving certain things, they may try to diminish it and downplay it. And if you fall into it, if you fall into it, you're going to diminish and downplay your own potential, downplay your own gifts, downplay your own prosperity, downplay your own abundance. When you're really supposed to be out here, when you're really supposed to be out here really getting it to the highest level. And when you're getting it to the highest level, that just take a one step at a time thing. Because everything comes to you at the right time. So you may have to witness people around you scorn. You may have to witness other people around you getting to the level where you want to be at. You may have to witness people around you getting them material possessions that you want to get. You may have to witness people around you getting them promotions that you want to get. You may have to witness people businesses flourishing around you in ways that you want your business to flourish. But just know this. When you see that, applaud Platform, be happy for them sincerely because your time coming your time coming our time coming at God's speed we just got to wait for it we can't rush it you understand what I'm saying we can't go off taking shortcuts now right because shortcuts 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 may get you to your destination quicker but when you arrive there it may not look how you want it to look because you ain't really take the full course you ain't really run around like you were supposed to. You understand what I'm saying? I'll be out there right watching my kid running around the track. And sometimes you see kids, they take the shortcut because they tired. And when you get tired, you likely, you more likely to take the shortcut because that's what your mind telling you to do. But in that moment, if that's the perfect time to develop a high level of awareness. That's that perfect time to get in meditation mode while you wide awake. People, I be telling y'all, meditation ain't only spending quiet time. Meditation can be when you in a group of people. Meditation can be while you're in the middle of your job While you're in the middle of anything You can meditate You can train your mind Is what I should say You can train your mind to Okay, I really want to take this shortcut But that ain't going to benefit me in the long run Like I told you I understand the short term is important But I also do this for the long term Understand what I'm saying? So when you when you when you go through the whole track, when you go through the whole thing You get, through the, you get to the end And in the end you'll be a stronger person Right, and when you a stronger person, you can go help somebody else become an even stronger person. I had to blow my whistle real quick. I'm getting hoarse, y'all, and I'm losing my voice because that's how I get when I get passionate in here. But it ain't gonna steal my voice. It ain't gonna stop me. You understand what I'm saying? Because y'all need to hear this message. Somebody need to hear this message, right? And if it ain't you, hit that share button and share it with somebody that you feel like may need it, baby. Cause understand what I'm saying. Just keep living your life how you live your life. Listen, keep living your life 
on the life you living on the on, 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 on the way you living your life. Keep taking the track that you take. Keep taking your track. Don't worry about nobody else's track. Don't try to go on nobody else's track. Just focus on your track. Focus on becoming the best version of you. The excuse me, the highest version of yourself, right? The highest version of self. And work that out one day at a time. Right, and you gonna start noticing small changes in your life, and oftentimes the small changes go unnoticed. The small changes go unnoticed by your environment. They don't notice the small changes. People don't notice you until you finally arrive. People don't really notice you until you get the status symbol. Understand? It's when they start to pay attention, and that's okay. That's okay because you ain't doing it for nobody else. You're not doing it for me. You're not doing it for mom. You're not doing it for dad. You're not doing it for your relatives. You're not doing it. You're not doing it for them. That inner work you're not doing for them. You're doing it really for you. But when you're doing it for you, when you're doing it for you, and, and you're doing it right, it's, 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 it's going to be affection. It's going to be contagious. Other people going to eventually notice. Other people going to eventually see it. And they're going to accept it or they ain't. Right? Some people going to leave and some people going to come. And some people that been with you going to stay. Because there's some people that love you for who you are. That unconditional love, baby. And you know who love you unconditionally in your life. Understand what I'm saying? And you probably got some people that you love unconditionally in your life. They gonna love you for your ways and all. Because we all got ways. They gonna love you for them. And they gonna accept you for them. And they gonna, and they gonna try their best to work around that. You understand what I'm saying? Because listen, like my mentor told me before. It's gonna be some things that you don't like about me. That's okay. Take them things and throw them out. But the things you do like and the things I'm doing good, take them and exemplify them. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? So the, approach that thing, with, approach that, have that approach with your people in your life. You're not going to like everything about everybody. That's a fact, man. You and your mate, your spouse, your your, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your, you're not going to like everything about them. Your friends, you're not going to like everything about them. But the thing that's keeping you around them is the things that you do like about them, the things that you do love about them. You understand what I'm saying? And the, and the, and the way, the reasons you still willing to be around the people for those exact reasons, man. So, listen, champions. I don't know how long this video is. And I try, I be trying to keep these things short, man. But every now and then, listen, I just got to let loose. And whoever this message for is for, and they're going to make it to the end of it. And I appreciate it, right? High level awareness. And you ready to grow. You ready to reach higher. Um, but anyways, man, chase your deepest ambition, family. Chase your deepest ambition, Pack Horse family. Chase your deepest ambition every day, one step at a time, man. The roadblocks, the obstacles, people turning against you, people going against you. They may be up. They may be up three to one. You may be down one to three, but you got to get to four. So go on a winning streak, and that winning streak starts now. But uh, until I come back, family, peace, success, and prosperity.